Life and business is like the seasons. Life and business is like the seasons. Frank Sinatra sings, life is like the seasons. Now here's one of the key phrases that changed my life. Starting at age 25, you can see this whole scenario. Personal development for me began. I've never been the same since. Here's the next key phrase. You cannot change the seasons, but you can change yourself. You can't change the seasons, but you can change yourself. My best hope, right? When I'm 25 years old, my best hope was to go through the day with my fingers crossed saying, I sure hope things will change. I sure hope things will change. It seemed to be my only way for my life to get better if things would change. Here's what I discovered. It isn't going to change. It isn't going to change. I did a seminar one time for Standard Oil executives and management in Honolulu, now known as Chevron. And we're talking economics one day around the conference table. And one of them said to me, Mr. Rohn, you know some fairly important people around the world. You have a chance to travel internationally. Can you tell us what you think the 80s are going to be like? Now you can tell how far back this goes. He said, what do you think the 80s are going to be like? And I thought for a moment and I said, gentlemen, I do know the right people. And I do have some experience. I think I can tell you. So they all leaned in a little closer and I said, gentlemen, based on the people I know and based on the best of my own experience, I think in the 80s it's going to be about like it's always been. <laughs> Aren't you glad you came today? I mean, that's inside stuff. I don't just spread that around everywhere. It's going to be about like it's always been. It isn't going to change. To hope that it'll change is called whistling in the wind, being so naive, hoping for something that isn't going to occur. I can give you the shortest history lesson that you can imagine in one sentence. What describes human history on the spinning planet the last six and a half thousand years? Let me describe it for you in one sentence. Here's human history in one sentence. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. That's about as simple as you can put it. And opportunity mixed with difficulty isn't going to change. The man says, well, if it isn't going to change for the future, if it isn't going to change in the 90s, how will my life ever change? Answer, when you change. And if you will change, Everything will change for you. Your bank account will change, your income will change, your future will change. The ability to acquire your dreams will change. It'll all change if you will change. And now let's go through the scenario of the seasons. Life and business is like the seasons. Let's cover them. Here's number one, major lesson in life to learn. Learn how to handle the winters. You say, well, Mr. Rohn, a lot of this stuff is fairly obvious. That's true. Just need somebody like me just to come along and remind us. This is what this is called today, a reminding session. I got no new truth for you to discover. This is all old stuff. We just need to hear it again. Somebody get on our case a little bit, right? We all need that. Here's number one lesson. Learn how to handle the winters. That's obvious. The winters come right after falls. And pray tell how often. Every year, according to written history, for the last six and a half thousand to cross your fingers and say, I hope, I hope, I hope it doesn't come. I'm telling you, we call that naive. <laughs> now, there's all kinds of winters, not just the winter of the season, but there's all kinds of winters, winter time, the down time, the discouraging time. One writer called it the winter of discontent, the winter when you can't figure it out, the winter when it all goes wrong. Economic winters, social winters, political winters, and personal winters. When your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces, the nights are unusually long. It's called winter time. Barbara Streisand sings, it used to be so natural to talk about forever, but used to be's don't count anymore. They just lay on the floor till we sweep them away. You don't sing me love songs. You don't say you need me, and you don't bring me flowers anymore a song of winter but hey we're acquainted with all those winter scenarios we've been through them all now the question is what do you do about the winters 
Well, you can't get rid of January by tearing it off the calendar. But here's what you can do with the upcoming winters of your life, the long ones, the short ones, the easy ones, the more difficult ones. Here's what you can do. Get wiser and stronger and better. Just make a list of that trio of good words, wiser, stronger, and better. To challenge for yourself the upcoming winters of your life, don't you think you could read more? Pick up the scenario, pick up the books, pick up the cassettes, so I would put some stuff on cassettes so you can listen to it, put it in books so you can read it, now putting it on video so you can see it. I'm telling you, anybody that wants to can get wiser. Next is stronger. Anybody can get stronger. If you're willing to do the push-ups, you can get stronger. If you're willing to put yourself through the paces, you can get stronger. Can you develop stronger skills? And the answer is yes. Start practicing, practicing, practicing. And you can get stronger. Can you get stronger in handling life situations? Of course. But you've got to go to work on yourself. You can't blame out there wishing it was easier. Wish you were stronger. And here's the last one. Get better. Anybody can get better. Language, we can all get better. I've been lecturing now for 33 years, and I'm telling you, today versus 33 years ago, I'm better. First time I gave a talk, I stood up, my mind sat back down. I mean, you know, I've been through that whole deal. <laughs> Open my mouth, nothing came out for a while. My knees are banging together, the sweat's pouring off my face, I'm shaking like a leaf. It's called terror, in case you haven't tried it. <laughs> Those first attempts. But I'm telling you, I got through it, and I did it again, and I got through it, and I did it again, and I got through it. And now, of course, I can lecture for a few hours in one day. Anybody can get better, develop the skills, okay? Handle the upcoming winters. Don't wish away the winters. That's called naive. Wish for the skills. Wish for the strength. Wish for the wisdom. Here's the second major lesson in life to learn. Learn how to take advantage of the spring. Uniquely enough, spring follows winter. And pray tell how often? Six and a half thousand times. I mean, those are good odds. I gamble on it one more time. I mean, those are good odds. Every time, you can't beat those odds. Spring is called opportunity. Another day is called opportunity. Days follow nights. How about that? And how often? Every day. But now here's what we must learn to do with opportunity. Underline two strategic words in that sentence. Take advantage. Just, the, uh, just because spring comes is no sign you're going to look good in the fall. You've got to take advantage of it. You've got to do something with it. Read every book you can on what to do with your springs, what to do with your opportunities, what to do with your days, what to do with your chances. Don't miss the educational process. Don't miss the process of learning to understand opportunity keeps coming, but the key is taking advantage, taking advantage. Everybody in this room's got to learn to do one of two things, plant in the spring or beg in the fall. And it doesn't mean you can't become a sophisticated beggar, but you don't need the reputation. Learn to plant in the spring, take advantage. And there's an urgency here on springtime because there's just a few springs, handful of springs offered to each of us. So take advantage swiftly and quickly. Don't just let the time pass. The Beatles wrote, life is very short. And for John Lennon, it was extra short. For Michael Landon, it was extra short. But life is short. At the longest, it's short. So don't just let the springs pass, pass, pass. Take advantage. Seize the day. Seize the moment. Seize the opportunity. That's the key. Springtime. Life is fragile. Life is brief. Elton John sings she lived her life like a candle in the wind. It's fragile. It's brief. Whatever you're going to do, you've got to get at it. Don't just let it pass away.